What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Educate, let us do electrostatics. This is just a basic introduction to let you get comfortable uh, with the concepts surrounding electrostatics. So from the topic itself, we need to know what the electro means uh, and the static. Electrostatics, that just means that you're talking about electricity that is stationary or the electricity that does not move. Yes, electricity that is not moving. So it, it needs us to first understand the basic concepts that each and every uh, object or each and every matter is made up of atoms. And uh, remember, an atom is something like this. It has got a nucleus with positive charges and some electrons around it. Right. So now uh, the thing is we have got uh, a neutral atom so when you say that an atom is neutral, it just simply means that the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. For example, if an atom has got two electrons and two protons, we say that this atom is a neutral atom. Hence, we say that uh, when something is neutral, the number of protons and electrons are equal. And then now, you can now go into other variations whereby you've got more protons than electrons so if uh, an atom now has got more protons than electrons it becomes positively charged so we say it is positively charged so when you say that an atom is positively charged or it's a positive charge it means that it has got more protons than electrons for example, uh, we can just say your atom may have two protons and one electron. So this atom is positively charged because it has got more positive charges or otherwise known as protons than electrons. And when it is negatively charged, it can also be negatively charged. So when it is negatively charged, it simple, simply means that there are more negative charges or more electrons than protons. For example, if your atom has got three, ele three okay, let's just say three electrons and um, two protons. So you can see that here we've got more electrons than protons, hence we say it is negatively charged but the basic one is neutral so how do we turn a neutral atom something that has got two electrons and two protons to become positively or negatively charged say for example we take um, an atom of uh, let's just say this atom of magnesium from the periodic table the atom of magnesium we can just say it has got 11 protons as well as 11 electrons so for it to be positively charged it needs to have more protons than electrons and for it to be negatively charged it needs to have more electrons than protons so how then do we turn it to be a positively uh, to be a positive charge right so for it to be a positive charge we need to remove we need to remove so we need to remove electrons we can remove one electron we can remove two electrons and so forth so for magnesium atom to be positively charged we need to remove electrons any atom you can take any atom for it to be positively charged you have to remove electrons so let's say we remove three electrons from this 11 we will remain with 11 protons and now we'll now have eight electrons do you see now that here there are now more protons than electrons hence it will be positively charged positively charged so here we just made a neutral magnesium atom to become positively charged by removing electrons or we could also make it to be negatively charged so to make something to be negatively charged it means it must have more electrons than protons so for us to have more electrons we can add them so we can add electrons to this magnesium remember the original magnesium here is neutral it has got 11 protons 11 electrons so for it to be negatively charged we can add electrons let's just say we add three electrons 
this will still be 11 protons because we did not add protons and then now would have what 14 would have 14 electrons do you now notice that this new magnesium that we have created it is now more negative charges than positive charges so we won't get into the chemistry part of it but we just need to know that we can take something from being neutral to make it positively charged or negatively charged to make it positively charged we remove an electron to make it to be negatively charged we add an electron so note that you do not add positive charges or remove them the protons in an atom remain the same they are firmly held in a nucleus remember that in this diagram this is your nucleus so the, the protons do not move in the nucleus but these electrons that are around here they are easily moved or they are easily accelerated so now in this case we just added electrons to have a negatively charged we removed electrons to have a positively charged there is no scenario whereby we remove or add protons so it's all about the movement of um, of electrons so if you want to make something to be negatively charged you add electrons if you want to make it to be positively charged you remove electrons so now this brings us to these uh, forces that the charges can exert on one another i won't go deep into the coulomb force but we just say here if we have got um if we have got a negative charge we just say it's a negative charge let's just say this thing has got more negative charges than positive charges got more electrons than protons it is negatively charged and then we take another charge and then it is positively charged so these are unlike charges so these are unlike charges we say they are unlike charges because this one is negative this one is positive they are opposites of each other so opposites always attract each other meaning that they move towards each other it's just like a magnet and something metallic if you take a magnet you get it closer to something metallic the magnet will get attracted so that's a magnetic attraction but then in this case this attraction we say is called an electrostatic attraction so an electrostatic attraction occurs if we have got two opposite charges so here we've got a negative charge and a positive charge they attract each other um yes they attract each other they move closer to one another and then if they are like charges in like charges we can either have two negative charges this is a negative charge and this one is also a negative charge because they are the same they repel each other so the, because they are the same they actually repel each other they move away from each other they move away they take different paths even if we've got two positive charges two positive charges they do what they repel each other so they've got that electrostatic force of a repulsion so we say it's a repulsion they move away from each other in that case of unlike charges they move closer to one another so in our next video we'll be talking about the methods in which charges are transferred thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen don't forget to stay tuned for our next video Tattles.